So here we have our second scene. So an interior with about three quarters of a million polys. Uh, with some furniture, um, ceiling, some wall panels, curtain wall. Um, we've got some AGS glass going on, actually quite a bit of it is in all these panels. And let's pop open fire, let's see how it does. And we're going on, stay with medium, medium quality. And it is a bit slower than the exterior scene was cleaning up, but that's typical with Maxwell in general, that your exteriors are going to clean up faster. With interiors and lots of emitters, um, in this case I think we've got maybe 18 of these light boxes, perimeter lights. And there's some in this conference room over here. And that's pretty much all that's on right now, and I think those emitters are six polys, six quads. Or actually eight. It'd have to be eight quads to make that shape. So eight quads for each light box. Let's move around. And these aren't joined. Um, typically, if you have a lot of emitters, you want to join them into one object and then up your, your lumens to compensate. But right now I'm just running them independently, which maybe is a little less efficient. Um, but it's usually more of a memory consideration. So not, not as quick, but definitely still pretty useful to see what your artificial lighting is going to look like, and certainly your exposure. If we pull up our camera here, we'd know real quick if we've got incorrect exposure going on. So let's keep it, keep it on manual for inside, and let's just start turning on some other emitters see if anything happens. So we've got some cans out here in that suspended ceiling. I think maybe another uh, 20, 25 emitters out there. And these are a little warmer. And these ones are joined together so it, it gives somewhat of an unrealistic realistic watts value but that's what you've got to do when you've joined them. So let's go out there and see what that looks like. And we can start to see the reflections in the AGS glass out there. Um, let's go ahead and Turn that off and see if that makes any difference. So now nothing should be bouncing back in. No reflections. Uh, not really different. We just lose our reflections, so let's turn those back on. And let's turn on the last set of lights, which is up here. Let's see, what are those? Uh, these aren't joined. I think they're probably one object each. I think they're two quads each. So let's see if we cool those off. If we go and shut these other ones down. Oh yeah, yeah, you definitely can tell. Your color temperature is going to play. Let's go back to the 6500. Up our wattage. So interesting. Um, not quite as fast as I'd like. Um, considering how the exterior scenes behaved. It's still pretty useful. I suppose we could shrink this down. Let's see if that helps at all. Right now we're at 720. Let's go down to 480. Pop that open. Yeah, it does help. It's a little faster. 